Calculating percentages is not magic, at least as long as we're using simple numbers. If you have 10 apples and eat one of them, what percentage of the apples have you eaten and what percentage is left? Correct. One apple out of 10 is 10%, that means 90% of the apples are still left. But what if the calculation becomes more complex? Let's assume your bank account is 3750 euros in the red, which hopefully is not the case. And you plan to reach a total of 8000 euros in the plus by the end of the year. After a few months, you will check your current progress. You are 2000 euros in the plus. How do you calculate the percentage progress now? In this video, I will show you the magic formula that will make any percentage calculation a breeze. To showcase the problem that might appear when doing percentage calculations, I built a small Flutter app where you have two areas. One is the dump one and one is the smart one. So let's just have a look on the dump one. We all know that if we have an initial or a minimum value of zero and a max value of 100 and we want to know how much percent 20 out of 100 is, we all know that this is 20%. That's uh, quite simple. So let's do something more complex. From 0 to 520 is 4%. That also works perfectly fine. And we all know how this is calculated. If we have a look on the formula, we can see we are just dividing the current value um, by the max value and multiply that by 100. That's how we get to this result. So what about negative values from 0 to minus 500. That's also perfectly fine. You can check that with your calculator. This is the right result. But now let's have a look on another case. We maybe have a negative value, like in our example from the introduction, 3750. And we are going to 8000. So and we said we have currently 2000. So the result that we are getting here is not really based on these numbers. It is based on these two numbers, so the current and the max. But this, this uh, result is correct when we assume that we are going from 0 to 8000. Then 2000 would be 25%, but from minus 3750 to 8000, that's not the correct value. And also if you think of, for example, a person who weighs 120 kilograms and this person plans to lose weight, maybe so he goes to 100 and he is at the moment at 110 so he should be 50 percent he should have 50 percent of progress but with this calculation or with this formula we get a wrong result so let's have a look now on a better alternative to calculate percentages um, if we do the same now here on this one get the right result and also if we do the example from the beginning we again get the right result and now I want to show you the formula um, which calculates the right result and it's that one and if we look a little bit closer you can see we have two areas on the right side we determine the range. So we take the target value and subtract the initial value from it. 8000 minus minus 3750 and you know that if you have two minus it becomes plus. Um, so we add 3750 to the 8000 
and get 11,750. So our range goes from zero to 11,750. And on the left side, we just take the current value, which is this one, and then we subtract the initial and the result gets multiplied by 100. And with that divided by the range, we get our percentage value. And this one is the correct one. And even if you have two negative values, like this one, this is all correct. Even if your current value is outside of the range, it will calculate the right result. Now let's have a look on the implementation. We have a dump function, the dump percentage calculation, uh, which only gets the max value and the current value. And here we are doing just this here, what you see here. And we take the double and transform it to a integer so that we don't have a too large number. And this one only works for simple calculations like the Apple example from the beginning. And always when you are having a range, um, which goes from an initial value to a target value and you want to determine the percentage progress um, on that range, then you have to use this calculation or this formula. And the implementation is very simple. You have a function that takes three integers. You could also use three doubles, it doesn't matter. And then we just put them into the formula, which is here. And the result here gets converted to an integer. Then it returns the integer value, which is displayed here. So if you are planning to build a goal tracking app or a habit tracking app and you want to showcase any stats or the progress a user has made on his journey, this is the way to go. That's all about it. This is the magic formula that will do any percentage calculations. If this video helped you, then please leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this and have a nice day and we hopefully see us in the next video.